And some other teams, some hopefuls in the Western Conference, they were in action last night, including the Phoenix Suns and the Golden State Warriors. And it's been a while, Bob, yeah. since you got to kick back, maybe order a burger, chill out, and watch the Golden State Warriors without any skin in the game. What were your thoughts watching your former team? You know, it's tough. It's honestly, it was hard to be honest. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't not cared about a Warriors game in 12 years. You didn't care. Not that that's wrong. <laughs> I, just tried, I screwed up already. No, what was hard is um, I still really like a lot of the people there, like real friends, and so I was rooting for them. And then I was checking myself, saying, "Don't get stressed out. It's not your problem." Um, but you know what I took away from the game? Uh, both of those teams, they just have some work to do. And here's the thing, they don't have a lot of time. And this is why I think they both need to get off to a good start. Getting Draymond back will be huge. I'd say Mal Malika for me, I, I, you don't really appreciate. I, I did appreciate Curry, but when you're watching him and you're a little bit removed, mm -hmm. what I marveled at is how good of a leader he is and teammate. He just wants to win. And it's, we, you know all the superstars in this league. They're unbelievable players, but just the genuineness of Curry. And I kind of missed that person. So that's how I viewed it. And on the floor, Stephen A? He's the greatest shooter God has ever created. Point guard or would you say point I guard? I think he's the greatest shooter. I thought shooter. you said point guard. Well, when I say point guard, I just meant quintessential matches Magic Johnson. But in terms of impact, I think he's right there. He compete in terms of impact on the basketball court. But I look at Steph Curry. He's the greatest shooter God ever created. I look at him as a tremendous leader. He's a guy that everybody rallies around. I have never heard in all my years of covering sports, I have never heard a single negative syllable about Steph Curry yep. as a person. I mean, you just look at that. And then I walk away with that and marveling at his greatness, which is still very evident. The part I'm worried about is Klay Thompson. Hmm. And I'm worried about Klay Thompson because he got 15 points last night. I need more. Could he give us more? How much does he have left in the tank? He's one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen in this game. I need him to be that marksman, not just in terms of making shots, but being aggressive and taking them. And I need to see that because Steph Curry can't do it by himself. For all the time, he's not there yet, but the bottom line, as you pointed out, nobody's getting any younger. It's nice to see Chris Paul out there. You know Kaminga and Moody's expected to develop. He says he's going to help that. Draymond is going to be Draymond. Moody is going to be him. But in the end, Looney's going to be him. But in the end, it, to me, the key is Klay Thompson. He's got to show up and be better than he was last year. And he's playing for a contract extension as well, Wilbon. Yeah, but Wiggins. Wiggins was the second best player to me on the team oh, in the conference finals and in the finals on the way to the championship. Yeah. He was. And so I am not about to disagree with you on Klay Thompson. You you need Klay at the level that he can be at at this point of his career. But Wiggins, who is in the physical prime of his career, we need to see that guy. Golden State's going to need to see that guy consistently. And it, it can't take long. Look, when they get Dream On back and they need him back, like Bob just said, Stephen A., the West is so crowded. Right. You can't finish seventh and expect to climb over a bunch of bodies in but the play. You can't do that. They got to they gotta get in a position I, here. I'll throw this by y'all, but especially Bob. I think there are certain players. It's one thing for them to put up numbers and do their job. But you have certain players that galvanizes and just ups the ante for their teammates around them. Steph Curry does that. Klay Thompson's another. When Klay Thompson gets going, look at the effect it has on everybody else. Yep. Wiggins does his thing, he does his thing. Draymond, others, fine. But when Steph or Klay, and especially when it's both of them together, they're lighting it up, it just does something to the Golden State Warriors, and I think they need that. Real quick, on the Phoenix Sun side, Bob, if we could before we go no, to break. No. <laughs> I just, he's added Kevin Durant to a team that has superstars before. The process of adding adding KD to the Phoenix Suns with the aspirations that they have to make it successful in the first season, what is that recipe to you? Well, the best thing about Kevin is he just wants to play basketball. Really, that's all he wants to do. And he's a good teammate. And the thing I see with him and Booker is they like each other. They do, and Kevin's not trying to make it his. And even Booker, although I think Booker could make it his more. And last night in the game, it was Booker. He did it at the end. He did it. The question's and, and, about who's the point and, guard. And Booker, what Booker did in the playoffs last year, that was real. I think that was real. And that was a step up for him. That was a step up because they're relying on him to play make now. And now in the end of that game, he was making those plays. He made that pass to Nurkic. He made this pass. Yeah. That, that one, he made okay. the pass. Koji hits the three. That's why everybody's saying, does Phoenix need a point guard? Well, if he can play point guard and playmaking, get, what, six, seven, eight assists, right. eight then assists Kevin can night. just be Kevin. 
And Kevin can hit wide open threes. He can rebound. He can play the four. Wow, so you touched on something that's really important. They want to partner. They played fewer than 20 games together, including the playoffs mm. still. But yet there's an eagerness to partner. Um, it's natural. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to see Kevin defer like that. But Booker last night, those three possessions, drew a double team. Each of those three possessions winds up kicking it out for two threes and the layup to Nurkic that we saw. And all of a sudden, the notion about they don't have a playmaker, well, maybe they Booker. Do. Kobe-esque. Remember I said that. I don't like that I comparison. Don't, I, I, I do. We should just leave I him do. out of comparison. He, he's here. Every, Kobe. No, 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 I, I, listen, Devin Booker is special, and yeah. some of his offensive repertoire mimics that sure. of the late, great okay. Kobe yeah. Bryant. I, I thought you were talking about this. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's okay. You're right. Well, okay. and, and Devin okay. Booker would embrace that. He literally yeah. has the well, legendary no, literally. The advice that, that Kobe Bryant gave him. The mental game of a Kobe, we're just never going to see it again. That's all I'm saying. As a player, right? But that his, his his competitiveness, M Michael's the only other. I don't the know other. Michael. You guys, Devin Booker is special. Okay. Is I, I'm not knocking Devin he's Booker. Coming. It's not a knock on him. It's more of a you're right. You're right in the last thing you said, Stephen A. You were right. <laughs> Come on, five. It's NBA on the